So what's up guys, Fabi here and welcome to Shades of Tech and today a friend of mine, Mountain Rider, told me a very interesting news that appeared on 9to5Mac. If you don't know what 9to5Mac is, it is a really important website where you can find all the news, the information, the reviews about all the Apple world, about iPhone, about Macs and so on. And today we have a pretty big drop on the iPhone 8. If you watch their website, it's like the, the keynote that is supposed to be done on September the 12th has already been done because they have all the features of the new iPhone 8 which come out from the study of the iOS 11 beta. Anyway, what they tell is that there is a big drop news and rumor about iPhone 8. They suggest that iPhone 8 won't have a Touch ID. You understood well. The iPhone 8 is not supposed to have a Touch ID button, which in my opinion is one of the best introduction in iPhone ever. Well, they will replace it with something that they call now Face ID. It's like the one on the Galaxy S8 and Note 8 to recognize not your retina, your eyes, but your face. We still don't know how it will work, but apparently they will remove the on button with iPhone 7, they replaced it from a physical button to a more software button and now apparently they will remove it completely. So this is a pretty big change. We have one button from the first iPhone, from the first iPod, so we are talking about maybe more than 10 years back. And this will be probably made to improve the waterproof resistance and uh, I hope they will make it IP67 because now it's less than IP67 and so it can resist water but actually it's not guaranteed that it will resist in water so if you drop it in the pool and it doesn't work they won't change it and so probably this removal of the home button is made in this sense we will see we won't have to wait much longer because today is September the 9th so it's on the 12th which is Tuesday and so I can't wait, I'm super hyped, super excited. Be sure to subscribe because I will try to make a full coverage on the iPhone 8 and whatever will be presented on the Apple keynote for the 10th iPhone anniversary. And tell me in the comments what is your reaction to the removal of the Touch ID and the home button. Of course, if it is true, we still don't know. And if you like the face recognition, and it will create a different problem because with fingerprints you can't have the same fingerprint with another person in the world. So we will see, it's really hard to replicate fingerprint and so to unlock it without the permission of the owner of the phone. But let's see how the face ID will work because in my opinion it's much easier to create a fake photo than a fake fingerprint. So I leave you with this question and tell me in the comments if you would buy an adapter, maybe. If you still want the Touch ID, you can buy an adapter because Apple in the latest years tended to make a lot of the adapters. So, of course, I'm joking. And uh, that's all for now. We'll see you on September the 12th. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!